Hello, my name is Michael West. I'm a cellular gerontologist. This means that I'm a scientist who studies the how and why of human aging at the level of cells, the basic building blocks of life itself. In the series Back to Immortality, we explore mankind's quest for immortality, past, present, and future. In episode one, titled The Green Face of Netter, I describe the ancient mystery religions that base their hope of immortality on the continued renewal of life in springtime, beginning with the mysteries of ancient Egypt through the time of the Roman Empire. I show the basis for the hope of immortality in a pharmacon Athanasius, or a drug of immortality. Episode two, called The Evolution of Death, begins with the early 1800s and describes the chain of events that led to the realization that we are actually composed of trillions of living entities called cells, glued together to make the tissues of the body. At about mid-century, scientists accepted the view that life on Earth was very old and that the evolutionary origins of death began with the evolution of multicellular organisms. Some cells in these primitive animals, such as the reproductive cells, replicated forever, that is, they were immortal, without the need of death, while some, the ones that made up the body, died each generation. This led to the realization that life is, in a sense, immortal. It's just that our bodies don't enjoy the ride. In episode three called The Immortalization of Dr. Hayflick, I walk viewers through the 20th century, beginning with a report that America's first Nobel Prize winner in medicine, Dr. Alexis Carell, said that cells in our body could easily be made immortal. This led to the rise of strategies to impute immortality into the body by boosting the reproductive hormones by a group of doctors known as the Erector Set. But by mid-century, it became clear that cells in our body were intrinsically aging through some mysterious clock in our DNA. Dr. Leonard Hayflick defined the modern era and with him the famous Hayflick limit of cell proliferation. But by the end of the 20th century, gerontologists used modern DNA technologies to decipher the mechanisms to rewind the clock and immortalize the cells of Dr. Hayflick. Episode four, called Renatus, leads the viewer into the realm of regenerative medicine, beginning with the controversies related to human embryonic stem cells, the first naturally immortal human cells ever isolated in a laboratory dish. These cells, together with technologies like cloning and iPS cells, allow modern-day researchers, for the first time in the history of medicine, to revert cells from donors of any age back to the beginning of life and back to immortality, to make young cells of any type, indeed cells indistinguishable from the cells from which we were born, useful in repairing the ravages of age. In episode five, I look into the future of aging, both from a scientific as well as a philosophical perspective to share my own vision of where these technologies are taking us. Back to Immortality expresses my own personal worldview as a cell biologist working in the field of aging research. It does not express anyone else's point of view, and it does not express the point of view of any company that I've been associated with. I provide it to stimulate debate and dispassionate dialogue as we as a society face the inevitable consequences of an aging population. My hope is that together we can find a way to forge a more bright future for ourselves and for our loved ones. I hope you enjoy the video series as much as I have in putting it together.